Did you know that Pirate 101 has the potential to overtake Wizard 101 in popularity this year? Stay tuned to find out how. While it once was in turmoil, the future of Pirate 101 as we know it is insanely bright because of the content, story, and paywall updates that the devs just confirmed. These updates are going to greatly increase the player base and could ultimately be the factor that Pirate 101 needs to blow up and compete in popularity with its counterpart Wizard 101. I am a veteran pirate player having played ever since its launch in 2012 and have never had a better feeling about the direction of the game until now. I have done immense research for this video so a like and a sub would be much appreciated. Without further ado, I'm going to give you guys 4 points on exactly why Pirate 101 could blow up this year, so let's get right into it. Number 1. Coughing up money to play a game can suck, especially without knowing what the gameplay will actually be like. Imagine seeing Fortnite be advertised as a free to play game back in 2016, 2017, downloading it, playing a match, trying to queue for another one only to get prompted with, hold on there you have to pay X amount of money per month to play this. That is exactly the case with Pirate 101. You barely get into the game before being hit with the paywall. It's just not enough content for new players to actually fall in love with the game the way the old players did. However, in the recent interview that Just Fang did over on his channel with the King's Isle narrative director Sam Johnson, or Blind Mew for short, it was said that there's a great chance that the pay gate is finally going to be moved further back. More than likely, it'll be moved back to its original spot at the end of Jonatown, or maybe even to the end of Flotsam Skyway. This is perfect because it gives new players so much more content to experience before having to make that decision to purchase a membership. This alone will help increase the amount of players actually buying the membership and continuing on through the game. Number 2. Now, if you haven't played Pirate 101, this next point does contain some minor spoilers in the story, but regardless, you guys need to hear this. One of the reasons I think that Pirate 101 is way better than the story of Wizard 101 is because of the race to get Marco Polo's map pieces and to get to El Dorado. After the 2016 update that brought about Valencia Part 2, the story shifted and hasn't really gone back to that race to El Dorado until now. It has been confirmed that with the next update, the story will finally be going back to what all pirate players were hooked on in the past. It was confirmed by this quote from Blind Mew. The story is going back to El Dorado and it is going to pick up from the cliffhanger that we were all left off on. This news is honestly what most, if not all, pirate players wanted to hear and it will help to bring back a sizable portion of the player base. Number 3. We are now getting into the major aspects of Pirate 101's future that have the chance to make this game blow up in popularity this year. When you were a little kid and you wanted something really bad, whether it was a toy or some sort of candy, you would more than likely ask your parents over and over again for it. Well, when you finally got said item, I bet it felt pretty good to finally have it after asking so much. Pirate players and even people who play Wizard 101 as their main game have been asking KI for a new world in Pirate for the longest time. So imagine how everyone who has been asking in both of the 101 game communities are going to feel when a world sized update is released in Pirate 101. Well, we won't have to imagine for much longer. While it is not an entirely new world, KI is going to be adding Tartarus to Pirate 101 in the next update. Tartarus is said to have more dialogue more story, and more overall content than any of the Sinbad parts released previously. When asked about the timeline of the update, Blind Mew said it would be in a matter of weeks, and he cannot say exactly when, but it will be before summer. This data mine screenshot from the Pirate 101 game files via the Atmoplex on Twitter helps confirm Tartarus, as well as some other new areas, will be coming to the game. This is further backed up by this voiceover where the actor is talking directly to Hades. Hades, bring me oblivion. Let me drink from the river lead and forget this wasted life. Number four. With the addition of the Tartarus update, this last point will be game changing and is what ultimately could cause the chain reaction that allows Pirate 101 to overtake Wizard 101 in popularity this year. If you've ever been stuck in your house while it's storming outside, you know it can get pretty boring. You try and find things to do to keep yourself occupied like board games, video games, watching TV, or even YouTube. Eventually all those things start to lose their shine after a few hours. Now imagine being stuck in that house for 8 years. 
That is essentially what pirate players have felt like waiting for a level cap increase. They have been farming the same bosses over and over again for the same old level 65, level 70 gear. Slowly and slowly the players just keep getting more and more bored and end up just leaving the game entirely. However, referring back to the interview with Blind Mew, he said that increasing the level cap is widely acknowledged as one of the things that KI need to do the most. And with the news that Tartarus will be released soon, having the most content that Pirate has received in the last 8 years, it is thought that the level cap will be increased to at least level 75. These screenshots from Pirate 101's TikTok showing El Toro with a new promotion at level 73 makes it seem even more likely that the level cap increase is coming with this update. This is insane news because Pirate 101 has been stuck at level 70 for so long, so an increase in levels will be such a breath of fresh air for all players, with potentially higher level gear, new abilities, new max level builds, and even new companion promotions, epics, and talents to go along with it. To sum things up, if this update goes well, the player base will increase. With more people on the game, plus the new content, that means there will more than likely be more people buying things in game, like membership, crowns, packs, you name it. More players on the game, plus more players spending more money, will lead to KI having more funds and more money to put into Pirate, which will ultimately lead to bigger and more frequent updates. All of this is why Pirate 101 is in such a great spot right now and has the potential to really compete with Wizard 101 in popularity this year. If this video makes you want to get into Pirate 101, by all means go for it, but first, you need to watch this. I already have a complete Pirate 101 questing and gear guide up on my channel. I go over everything you need to know from the start of the game, game basics, and all the way through every single level up to max with the best gear to obtain. I am so excited about the future of this game and I hope you are too. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.